There are at least three types of pie in this world. There's regular plain fruit pie, which is delicious. And then of course there's a la mode, which ups that whole deliciousness level. And then there's mathematical pie, spelled P-I, which unfortunately is kind of flavorless. But we found one artfully innovative baker who is very calculating with how she computes the equation of taste and geometry. Here's Allie Ward to explain and stick a fork in it. Snapshots of pie perfection, made by this woman, Lauren Co. When she makes pies and tarts, her number one ingredient is design. She makes them, designs them, and photographs them, then posts them to an online gallery with a massive and ever-growing following. Yes, she does bake the pies, and they're tasty too, but it's not about that. I'm mostly in this for kind of the design aspect. That's kind of what drew me in, the art appeal, and just using this as a medium to create design and to create art. I have no professional pastry or culinary training. I'm totally self-taught. I like to tell people that I come from a family of phenomenal eaters. I set out for Seattle to see how slices of heaven are stylishly set and then sent off for cyber stardom. Scrolling through Lauren's page of pie designs, you see symmetry and asymmetry, fractions and fractals. Those images are accompanied by fun, often cheeky captions. So this one is actually my favorite one. Ah, this one is, oh, it's gorgeous. So what is that? It's a black sesame tart with mangoes, papayas, kiwi, and dragon fruit. So you love angles and colors and mm -hmm. geometry. Yeah, I think this is like all of my aesthetics summed up into one pie, which is probably why I love it so much. Before baking pies for online visual consumption, Lauren worked as an executive assistant at a nearby college. Now she's figuring out how to make a business from these pies. Is this odd for you that something that became your respite from work has now become your job? Oh, it's totally strange. <laughs> Especially because I grew up cooking and baking, but pies were never my thing. I made my first pie a year and a half ago. We decided to make Lauren's signature spoke design pie. This is rather meditative, I yeah, have to it's say. Very therapeutic. So the next step is to just pick up the strip and okay. keep it straight. It's funny though because we wouldn't have this pie without pie, you know, <laughs> yeah. without 3.14 there. Right. Oh my gosh! Right. Look at how pretty this is. I feel like there's something so soothing about this much precision. Like, we right. love math. Our brains it love math. It feels so satisfying yes. at the end, too. Before baking, picture taking. All of Lauren's images online are done this way. One pie or tart, one $10 chalkboard, one open window for light, and one smartphone. She prefers to take the photos before baking because she likes the aesthetics of the raw design. Snap. Caption, post. And just like that, under the moniker Loco Kitchen, Lauren's beautiful pie is in the sky. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs>